Hi, I'm Nick from Tabletop Duo with more Dark Souls board game content. In this guide, you will learn how to read and play each behavior card for the two bosses of the Tomb of Giants core set. You can find timestamps for each behavior in this video's description. If you want to know how to play the board game, you can check our Dark Souls board game Tomb of Giants how to play video by clicking on the link above or by checking this video's description. Black Knight. His behavior deck should be built with four behavior cards. Its ability is parry, and what it does is that at the end of a character's turn, if they make one or more attacks against the boss that didn't cause any wounds, the character receives a stagger token. Vicious Hack. The boss starts by attacking within a range of two, the nodes facing its front and left arcs, dealing five physical damage to all characters inside each node hit. In this example, these would be the nodes hit. Then, the Black Knight starts its movement phase by pushing any character inside its node to the nearest node facing the arc. Then, it turns towards the node that is the closest to the character with the aggro token. It moves two nodes forward, always reorienting itself to the node that is the closest to the character with the aggro token, pushing away any character in its way to one of the nearest nodes that faces the boss's front arc. This attack has a weak spot on the right arc and a dodge difficulty of 1. Backswing. The boss starts by attacking within a range of 2, the nearest character, dealing 5 physical damage to all the characters inside that node. The attack misses if the nearest character is not within range. If the attack hits a character and that character is not able to dodge the attack, the character receives a stagger token. Then, the Black Knight starts its movement phase by pushing any character inside its node to the nearest node facing the arc. Then, it turns so the center of its back arc faces an adjacent node from the nearest character. It moves two nodes away, always reorienting, so that the center of its back arc faces an adjacent node that is the farther from the nearest character, pushing any character on its way to one of the nearest node that faces the arc side touched by the character. This attack has a weak spot on the right arc and a dodge difficulty of 1. Heavy Slash. The boss starts by attacking within a range of 2, the nearest character, dealing 5 physical damage to all the characters inside that node. The attack misses if the nearest character is not within range. If the attack hits a character that's not able to dodge the attack, that character receives a stagger token. Then. The Black Knight starts its movement phase by pushing any character inside its node to the nearest node facing the arc. Then it turns towards the node that is the closest to the nearest character. It moves one node forward, pushing any character on its way to one of the nearest nodes that faces the boss's front arc. This attack has a weak spot on the left arc and a dodge difficulty of 1. Overhead Swing. The boss starts by attacking within a range of 2, the nodes facing its front arc, dealing 4 physical damage to all the characters inside the nodes hit. In this example, these would be the nodes hit. Then the Black Knight starts its movement phase by pushing any character inside its node to the nearest node facing the arc. Then it turns towards the node that is the closest to the character with the aggro token. It moves two nodes forward always reorienting itself to the node that is the closest to the character with the aggro token, pushing any character on its way to the nearest nodes that faces the boss's front arc. This attack has a weak spot in the back arc and a dodge difficulty of 2. Defensive Strike. The boss starts by attacking within a range of 2, the nearest character, dealing 5 physical damage to all the characters inside that node. The attack misses if the nearest character is not within range. Then, the Black Knight starts its movement phase by pushing any character inside its node to the nearest node facing the arc. Then it turns towards the node that is the closest to the nearest character. It moves one node forward, pushing any character on its way to one of the nearest nodes that faces the boss's front arc. This attack has a weak spot on the back arc and a dodge difficulty of 2. Wide Swing. The boss starts by attacking within a range of 2, the nodes facing its front and right arcs, 
dealing 4 physical damage to all the characters inside the node's hit. In this example, this would be the node's hit. If the attack hits a character that's not able to dodge the attack, that character receives a stagger token. Then, the Black Knight starts its movement phase by pushing any character inside its node to the nearest node facing the arc. Then, it turns towards the node that is the closest to the character with the aggro token. It moves one node forward, pushing any character on its way to one of the nearest nodes that faces the boss's front arc. This attack has a weak spot on the left arc and a dodge difficulty of 2. Hacking Slash This is a heat up behavior. The boss starts by attacking within a range of 2, the nodes facing its front arc, dealing 5 physical damage to all the characters inside the nodes hit, pushing them to an adjacent node that is on the same arc of the attack. In this example, this would be the node's hit. If the attack hits a character that's not able to dodge the attack, that character receives the stagger token. Then the Black Knight starts its movement phase by pushing any character inside its node to the nearest node facing the arc. Then it turns towards the node that is the closest to the nearest character. It moves two nodes forward, always reorienting itself towards the node that is the closest to the nearest character, pushing away any character on its way to one of the nearest nodes that faces the boss's front arc and dealing 4 physical damage to them. This attack has no weak spot and a dodge difficulty of 2. Massive Swing This is a heat up behavior. The boss starts by attacking within a range of 2, the nodes facing its front, right, and left arcs, dealing 5 physical damage to all the characters inside each node hit. In this example, these would be the nodes hit. Then the Black Knight starts its movement phase by pushing any character inside its node to the nearest node facing the arc. Then it turns towards the node that is the closest to the nearest character. This attack has no weak spot and a dodge difficulty of 2. Charge This is a heat up behavior. The boss starts by attacking within a range of 2, the character with the aggro token, dealing 6 physical damage to all the characters inside that node. The attack misses if the nearest character is not within range. If the attack hits a character that's not able to dodge it, the character receives a stagger token. Then the Black Knight starts its movement phase by pushing any character inside its node to the nearest node facing the arc, then it turns towards the node that is the closest to the character with the aggro token. It moves three nodes forward, always reorienting itself to the node that is the closest to the character with the aggro token, pushing any character on its way to one of the nearest nodes that faces the boss's front arc. This attack has no weak spot and a dodge difficulty of 2. Nido. His behavior deck should be built with 5 behavior cards. Its ability is the Gravelord's Call. What it does is that when Nido hits up, all enemies that have been killed respawn on the Red Skull symbol. Toxicity. Nido starts its movement phase by pushing any character inside its node to the nearest node facing the arc. Then, it turns towards the node that is the closest to the character with the aggro token. It moves one node forward, pushing any character on its way to one of the nearest nodes that faces the boss's front arc. Once the movement phase is over, the boss attacks with a range of 2, the nodes facing its front and left arcs, dealing 4 physical damage to all the characters inside each node hit. If the attack hits a character that's not able to dodge the attack, that character receives a poison token. The attack has a weak spot on the right arc and a dodge difficulty of 1. Miasma Nero starts by attacking within a range of 3, the nodes facing all of its arcs, dealing 3 magical damage to all the characters inside each node hit, pushing them to an adjacent node that is on the same arc of the attack. In this example, all the nodes you see here would be hit. This attack has no weak spot and a dodge difficulty of 2. Entropy Nero starts its movement phase by pushing any character inside its node to the nearest node facing the arc. Then it turns towards the node that is the closest to the character with the aggro token. It moves one node forward, pushing any character on its way to one of the nearest nodes that faces the boss's front arc. 
Once the movement phase is over, the boss attacks with a range of 1, the nearest character, dealing 4 physical damage to all the characters inside that node. The attack misses if the nearest character is not within range. If the attack hits a character that is not able to dodge the attack, the character receives a poison token. The boss repeats this behavior doing the attack and movement one more time. This attack has a weak spot on the left arc and a dodge difficulty of 1. Sword Sweep Needle starts its movement phase by pushing any character inside its node to the nearest node facing the arc. Then it turns towards the node that is the closest to the nearest character. It moves one node forward, pushing any character inside its node to the nearest node facing the arc. Once its movement phase is over, the boss attacks with a range of 1, the nodes facing its front and right arcs, dealing 5 physical damage to all the characters inside each node hit. In this example, these would be the nodes hit. This attack has a weak spot on the back arc and a dodge difficulty of 1. Sword Slam Needle starts its movement phase by pushing any character inside its node to the nearest node facing the arc. Then it turns towards the node that is the closest to the nearest character. It moves one node forward, pushing any character on its way to one of the nearest nodes that faces the boss's front arc. Once the movement phase is over, the boss attacks with a range of 1, the nodes facing its front arc, dealing 5 physical damage to all the characters inside the nodes hit. In this example, these would be the nodes hit. This attack has a weak spot on the right arc and a dodge difficulty of 2. Death Wave Needle starts its movement phase by pushing any character inside its node to the nearest node facing the arc. Then it turns towards the node that is the closest to the nearest character. Then it attacks with a range of 1, all the nodes facing all of its arcs dealing 5 magical damage to all the characters inside each node hit. In this example, these would be the nodes hit. This attack has no weak spot and a dodge difficulty of 1. Death Grip The boss starts by attacking within a range of 1, the character with the aggro token, dealing 5 physical damage to that character. The attack misses if the character with the aggro token is not within range. Needle starts its movement phase by pushing any character inside its node to the nearest node facing the arc. Then it turns towards the node that is the closest to the nearest character. It moves one node forward pushing any character on its way to one of the nearest nodes that faces the boss's front arc. This attack has a weak spot on the front arc and a dodge difficulty of 2. Deathly Thrust Needle starts its movement phase by pushing any character inside its node to the nearest node facing the arc. Then it turns towards the node that is the closest to the character with the aggro token. It moves one node forward, pushing any character on its way to one of the nearest nodes that faces the boss's front arc. Once the movement phase is over, the boss attacks within a range of 2, the node containing the nearest character, dealing 5 physical damage to all the characters inside that node, pushing them to an adjacent node that is on the same arc of the attack. The attack misses if the nearest character is not within range. If the attack hits a character that is not able to dodge it, the character receives a poison token. This attack has a weak spot on the back arc and a dodge difficulty of 1. Deathly Strike Needle starts by attacking within a range of 1, the nodes facing its front, right and left arcs, dealing 5 physical damage to all the characters inside the nodes hit. In this example, these would be the nodes hit. Then Needle starts its movement phase by pushing any character inside its node to the nearest node facing the arc. Then it turns towards the node that is the closest to the character with the aggro token. It moves two nodes forward, always reorienting itself to the node that is the closest to the character with the aggro token, pushing that character on its way to one of the nearest nodes that faces the boss's front arc. This attack has a weak spot on the back arc and a dodge difficulty of 1. Gravelord Greatsword Needle starts its movement phase by pushing any character inside its node to the nearest node facing the arc. Then it turns so that the center of its back arc faces an adjacent node that is the farther from the character with the aggro token and moves one node away, 
pushing any character on its way to one of the nearest node that faces the arc side that touched the character. Then the boss attacks with infinite range the node with the character with the aggro token, dealing 4 magical damage to all the characters inside that node. This attack has a weak spot on the right arc and a dodge difficulty of 1. Death's Embrace This is a heat up behavior. The boss starts by attacking within a range of 1 the nearest character node, dealing 5 physical damage to all the characters inside that node. The attack misses if the nearest character is not within range. If the attack hits a character that is not able to dodge the attack, that character receives the poison token. Then, Nido summons a skeleton soldier that spawns on the red skull node that is the closest to the boss. This attack has no weak spot and a dodge difficulty of 2. Lunging Cleave This is a hit up behavior. Nido starts its movement phase by pushing any character inside its node to the nearest node facing the arc. Then, it turns towards the node that is the closest to the character with the aggro token. It moves one node forward, pushing any character on its way to one of the nearest node that faces the boss's front arc. Once the movement phase is over, the boss attacks with a range of 1, the nodes facing its front arc, dealing 5 physical damage to all the characters inside the node's hit. In this example, these would be the node's hit. If the attack hits a character that is not able to dodge the attack, that character receives a poison token. The boss repeats this behavior doing the movement and attack one more time. This attack has a weak spot on the right arc and a dodge difficulty of 2. Creeping Death This is a heat up behavior. Nido starts its movement phase by pushing any character inside its node to the nearest node facing the arc. Then it turns towards the node that is the closest to the character with the aggro token. It moves one node forward, pushing any character on its way to one of the nearest node that faces the boss's front arc, dealing 5 physical damage to them. If a character is not able to dodge the attack, that character receives a poison token. The boss repeats this behavior doing the movement and attack two more times. This attack has a weak spot in the back arc and a dodge difficulty of 1. Note that the range listed on this card is a printing error, as movement push attacks have a range of 0. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it, and if you want to know how to play Dark Souls board game with the core set, just click on the link to the right, or if you want to play also the Dark Souls the board game, the first edition, you also have the how to play video linked here. Thanks for watching, and see you next time!